So in this lesson, we are going to learn how to use CSV as a data source in Grafana. And also we are going to use candlestick visualization in Grafana. So first of all, I'm going to download CSV file. And what I'm doing is I'm using Nifty 50, which is like an index for Indian stock market. So I'm going to use data of Nifty 50 index. So here you can see I'm here at marketwatch.com. And from here we can download the data. So I'm going to download data of Nifty 50 open, high, low and close prices starting from this year until today. I'm just going to go and download the data. Now the data is downloaded. So we need to transfer the data to the target server, which is uh, Grafana in this case. I'm going to move it to uh, target server. And also I'm going to rename it because the name is quite big. Let's call it Nifty 50.csv. That should be enough. Now, once you do that, we are good to use CSV data source. So we are going to go to Grafana connections. And here we are going to go to data sources, add new data source and search for CSV. Now you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to call it Nifty 50 data. And here we are going to use local mode because we have kept the file on the server. So the location where I have kept the file is slash user slash share slash Grafana slash CSV directory. And then I have kept nifty 50 dot CSV. Once you do that, click on save and test. If everything is okay, you are going to see a success message. Now, just in case if you see an error saying that uh, your administrator doesn't allow local uh, file option to be picked up. In that case, you need to make sure you go to the Grafana configuration file. And you need to make sure you have these two settings enabled. So basically you have to uh, in, enter these two lines in a Grafana configuration file. So you are setting basically allow local mode to true for this plugin, which is a CSV data source plugin. And once you do that, just go ahead and retest it. It should work. Now, as you can see in my condition, it is already working. So we can uh, click on explore data. And here you can see we have the data now. Now by default, when data is read from CSV, you can see everything is basically acting as a string. Now we are going to set the date and time format properly. So I'm going to change this field uh, date and I'm going to change the type of this actually going to change it to time. And then we are going to do the same for open, high, low and close as well. And we are going to change it to numeric. So let's change open to number. And then we are going to do the same for high change it to number as well. And let's add a couple of more lines, low and close. Also, we are going to change to number. And here, if you see data is outside range, that is because we have downloaded daily data, but here we have applied filter of last six hours. So I'm going to change it to 30 days or last 90 days. Uh, in fact, we can keep like uh, last six months. That should be fine. So here you can see uh, this is some trend, but we are going to use candlestick pattern. So let's click here and select add to dashboard. And we are going to create a new dashboard. So select open new dashboard. And here again, you see data outside range that is because of the filter. So here also you can just go ahead and change the filter and select last one year and save the dashboard. Now let's go ahead and edit this panel. And here we can change it from time series. We can change it to candlestick. Now here you can see we are able to see the data in candlestick pattern. If you want to keep it less than only for last 30 days or last 60 days for better visualization, you can do that. And here we can see we have the data ready. Now, just in case you don't see the data properly, that will be mostly happening because uh, of the formatting. So make sure date, whatever date you have specified, uh, you have chosen time here. And just in case it is not picking up data automatically, you can always go to transform data and you can select convert and here you can select convert field type. Now here you can select uh, in this case, uh, because we have already formatted everything here in query itself. But just in case I have not formatted here, let's assume I'm just going to remove this time field here. You can see our visualization is missing because there must be a date time field available. So we are going to go to transform data. And here we are going to select date, which is actually a string. That's why you can see it is showing as a A. Now we can go to uh, type and change it to time. Uh, by default, if you see the input time format is not correct, it's not picking up automatically. So we need to make sure we define the correct pattern here. Now our pattern is month slash DD slash YYYY. So once we do that formatting, you can see data is showing properly again. Just click on apply. Now you have learned how to use CSV as a data source and also how to use candlestick format. So that's it in this lesson. See you guys again in the next lesson.